For more than a decade, his voice was the soundtrack for ACC women's basketball, especially the ACC tournament in his hometown of Greensboro. It's called Tournament Town, Greensboro, North Carolina. And for the 16th straight season, the ACC Women's Tournament comes to Greensboro as we look to crown another champion. It's a fun ride and in a great city that hosts and embraces this tournament. So here we go, the ACC Women's Tournament from Greensboro with all its moments, dreams, and excitement begins right now. You know, you, when you think of ACC Women's Basketball, you, you would think of Mike, you know, and, and the role he played. He was the face of women's basketball for so many years. He loved women's basketball. And I think the fact that he had a passion for it translated to the viewers. When he broadcast the game, I mean, he just gave you an energy. It was, it was like where you just fell in love with women's basketball. Tonight, Duke goes for a record set in fourth straight ACC title. They've won an incredible 42 ACC games in a row. Standing in their way, their arch rivals, underdog North Carolina. The Tar Heels are a national power in their own right. It's the Battle of the Blues. North Carolina and Duke will decide the ACC championship. A teacher at heart, Mike Hogwood's attentiveness and nurturing nature put so many newcomers at ease and allowed them to transition from the hardwood to the booth. What struck me with Mike Hogwood is that he was willing to take on any assignment. He was the guy that we put, the new guy, the new girl. And he enjoyed that, he enjoyed the teaching, he was patient. From the moment I started, I felt like Mike was there as a resource. He reached out to me and was very helpful. He was a mentor and a teacher. At one point or another, you were always laughing, that whether it was a call he was making or things he was saying, there just was so much joy. Uh, he genuinely loved the game, he genuinely loved his job, and you could tell in the way that he wanted to help you and wanted to help uh, others around him in the business, especially those that were younger and coming up into it. I don't know another person in the media who gave as he gave. Having done color myself, I know how important it was that my play-by-play -play teach me as I was learning the trade. And I have watched Mike Hogwood teach so many young women how to be his counterpart. He was a coach. He was a player and he respected everybody, he played to everybody, he knew how to ask the questions that got the information he needed that then he would put to flavor the game and to flavor the telecast. He could reference something in a game that the fans must wonder, how did he know that? But for all his success as a broadcaster, it was his personality that left the most lasting impression. Hi, folks. I'm Mike Hogwood. I hope you're as ready as I am for this Everybody game. loved him. You know, I don't know of anybody that didn't like him because he just had that personality and he just made everybody feel like they were special and they were the greatest person in the world. And, you know, I mean, when you, when you had a conversation with him and you walked away, you felt better. He was really intentional. He was genuine. You could tell. He cared so much more about you. He always wanted to know what was going on with you and how could he help you. And it's a huge loss for the women's basketball community because of the nature in which he acted, his professionalism, uh, his heart, the way he loved the game. And he called every game as if it was the most important game. I, I can't say enough about what, what, he, what he did and I don't even think he knew. I don't think he knew and that bothers me terribly. To, not, to wonder if he knew the impact he was having on all of us. He's a great, significant piece of ACC women's basketball history. I miss Michael. I really value and appreciate who he was, what he gave to us. He will always mean that to us. He may not be here, but by golly, he's remembered. He's appreciated. He helped make us who we are.